In his weekly press conference, Lobos basketball coach Steve Alford said his team was better than the one that lost to the New Mexico State Aggies in a pit in November. Lobos got a chance to prove it in Las Cruces tonight. Lobos looking for a ninth straight win. Aggies chasing a sweep and Mendel Kendis hoping he'd keep them there. Put back, we're all tied up at nine. Aggies would play from behind the rest of the game. Drew Gordon for the Lobos. Dropping down the jam. 11 to 9, Lobos at that point. Then Jamal Fenton, infusion of threes. 26 to 16, Lobos after it drops. And Tony Snell back to back the region is 32 to 18, Lobos. Snell would let another fly before the break. Lobos go 8 of 9 from three point land in the first half and would lead 46 25 at recess. Second half. Aggies first on the board, Tyrone Watson getting the deuce, making it a 46-27 game. Lobos would answer with Drew Gordon. Gordon tying a career-high 23 points and 19 rebounds. Those are insane numbers. More Lobos, Kendall Williams of stuff in 12 points, and then Snell tying a career-high with 24 points, 5 of 8 shooting threes, 9 of 9 at the line. Lobos by as much as 34 in the game. Drew Gordon, the finishing touch is coming up. Lobos win it big, 89-69 to improve to 11-2. On the season. Want to see some crazy numbers? Lobos shot better from the three point line than the regular two point field goals. They nailed 12 threes while the Aggies only hit one. That is a 33 point difference. Lobos also excellent on defense. They were better at the free throw line in a lopsided win over their rival. We've really guarded, and I thought that was another key tonight. We held them to 33% shooting, and uh, they got a lot of points, I think, in the last you know three or four minutes. But uh, it was another game where I thought defensively we were really good. It was uh, one of those things where we had no answer for the three ball. and I mean, We go one for 14, they go 12 for 24, and that's pretty much the story of the game. Lobos host Rick Majerus in the St. Louis Billikens on Saturday.